Hey, it's Skyro. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing some jump in. If you're a newer player and you're not familiar with a way to get more cards without buying packs or jumping into draft, if you're not comfortable with that yet, jump in can be a fantastic way to get some of the staples of the collection, like especially uncommons and a few rares without spending a ton of resources. So if you're a newer player, this is how jump in works. So it costs 200 gems or 1,000 gold, which the gold you can get easily from completing your daily quests. Or in my case, I happen to have a jump in token left over. So I'll use that and then you're gonna be confronted with two choices here. First choice between three packets and the second choice between three more packets. Each of them contains 20 cards with lands, so you don't have to worry about adding that or anything. And you just slam them together into a 40 card deck, and then you play until you get your reward. So there's not like a tournament setting where you lose and you get nothing. You still get an extra, I think it's a card or a cosmetic or something like that. But you get to keep all the cards from your jump in packets. So they're random. You don't get to choose from every jump in packet, but one of three. So in this case, we have Werewolves, which is red and green, Phyrexian, which is black, or Wolfpack, which is green. My first choice in jump in, I usually like to take a mono color if I can, because then the next turn, say I take Werewolves here, and then I get like not, nothing with red or green. It's like kind of weird. So I think I'm going to take Phyrexian, and then we'll look at our next pack. So we have Phyrexian. Equipped zombies or dead and buried. Featured card is Shadow Beast Sighting, a four mana sorcery to create a beast with flashback. So none of these really strike me as super synergistic, but uh, I'll take some zombies. So we'll go Phyrexian with zombies. And then you can click here, check out your deck. So we can go through the list if we want to. You can check out all the different cards, prepare yourself for how to play them and stuff. In this case, for time's sake, I'm just going to go in and we're just going to play a game. So let's get started with Jump In. Now we get to keep all those cards. All right, so let's see what this Phyrexian Zombies can do. We have Hobbling Zombie, a 2-2 Death Touch. When it dies, make a 2-2 Zombie with Decayed. Falcon Abomination. I actually liked this card from Midnight Hunt. It's a 3-drop 2-2 two, two Flash Flying when it enters, create a zombie with Decayed. Bladed Battle Fan, which can give our creature plus 1, plus 0 at instant speed and indestructible till end of turn, and that equipment stays on. Invasion of Eldraine makes him discard and Diagraph Horde. All right. We don't have any blue mana, though. That's the problem, but that's okay. We'll keep it. Willow Geist. 1-1 one, one Trample. When one or more cards leave your graveyard, put a counter on it. When it dies, gain life equal to its power. Okay. Put our Hobbling Zombie with Death Touch out there. Green, green. Two one. When it enters, you may mill four cards. Natural recovery. When it dies, return target land from your graveyard to your hand. You got master's rebuke, which is a fight spell. No attacks from us. We're gonna flash in this abomination, or we'll flash in this battle fan. Assuming they're gonna want to attack. Massive might. Okay. We'll flash the battle fan in, because this has death touch, so make ours indestructible, and theirs will still die. So we got some card advantage off of that one. Reveal top three cards of your library, reveal a creature, put it into your hand. Alright, depending on what that is, we might go Invasion of Eldraine and just make them discard two cards. Eccentric Farmer.
Get rid of Rise of the Ants with flashback. All right. Attack that battle. I'm gonna have to use some of these decayed zombies to finish off that battle. How much does this Rise of the Ants cost? This cost to flash it back costs eight. there make a bunch of zombies let's get rid of rise of the ants and what else the creatures this one Like they're probably gonna fight that. Yep. Okay, we're gonna get that battle. Play a little one drop here, equip, and then we'll have Falcon Abomination to be able to create a, uh, have a 2-2 flyer with flash speed. Six five trample. That's big. Trampler, we'll slide it through. Other zombies you control get plus one, plus zero. That's pretty good. I think we're still going to lose here, though, because they have tramplers. Can do 11 damage to us, and we can only block four of it. Just because of the trample. All right, good game. But like I said, just because we lose doesn't mean that we get to not play any more of the event. You can play with these cards as many times as you want, and you get to keep all the cards. So if you like this video, if you got something from it, hopefully it helped you. If you're a new player to MTG Arena, please consider hitting that thumbs up button, and uh, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you next time.